Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Nerd News. I am your host and for PC Gamer by Lincoln Carpenter. Warner Brothers acquires Multiverse's death as it shifts focus to free-to-play. The player first games enters Warner Bros. umbrella after three years on Multiverses. The developers of Multiverses uh, are ver are uh, were welcomed in by the president. The development and release of Multiverses, the free-to-play Smash Bros. Uh, if Smash Bros. with Warner Bros. has been a roller coaster, it released in July of 2022 in open beta. Never said it was an open beta. Uh, and then after it had been playable for a year, player first announced that, hey, uh, this is with a prolonged public test. It closed the servers. They disappeared for nine months um, and they confirmed its return in March. It re relaunched in May with new netcode characters, PvE missions. Um, and is it's. It holds a healthy average of 4,000 concurrent players. In fact, friend of the show, Tom Bennett, he's uh, one of the, he, before the public test server went down and he had a kid and shit, um, he was one of the preeminent players in, in the game. Probably in, he's, I probably sent him this, this uh, podcast. Hi, Tom! Um, and they were, play, their players were just pleased to find the game offering them an option to purchase more lives with real cash an option that player first said was a bug. So I just want to say this, um, the weird release schedule around the beta and everything they were doing left kind of like a sour taste in people's mouths. It was odd. Um, I will say though, as someone who did play multiverses and genuinely enjoyed it for what it was, um, and would go back to it, given the chance. Um, I, I thought it was really, really great. And, for those who like your Smash Bros or something adjacent, um, Multiverses is really, really good. I personally am an Arya Stark main. Uh, I like her, I like her playstyle kind of the most. Fluid, fast, uh, not so, like technical, but not so technical that I like fucking LeBron James having to spike motherfuckers with a fucking um, I don't know, like with a basketball, like just technical things I'm not capable of doing. Listen, if I'm not playing an item-based character like fucking Wii Fit Trainer or Link Wonk or whatever, I'm, I'm just saying. Um, ultimately, uh, this is good news. I mean, I mean, I mean, it's good news that Multiverse is sticking around. We'll see if Warner Brothers ends up uh, liquidating them. Um, and they're also seem to be making this more of a free-to-play game. I personally would rather it be a thing where they you know, the, you know, they ha do, like, the Fortnite thing where, like, the multiplayer is free, right? They maybe buy some skins and shit. And then all of, like, the PvE content, you know, like, training rooms, stuff of that nature, all of that, and is, and, and ranked, maybe even, like, putting, throwing ranked in there, like, you can just do casual matches and shit for free. I'd be fine with that if they put that behind, like, a one-time $30, $40 pay payment. Like, that's fair, because here's the thing, like, at that point, the server space that you're you're you doing to maintain that is negligible. Fucking Guild Wars 1, you know, is still playable to this day because CD Projekt, uh, not CD Projekt, right? just the developers of it acknowledge that it wasn't going to cost that much to maintain. So, we'll see. The the the, 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 the co-founders, Tony Kua and Chris White, said, our team is excited to join Warner Bros. Games family, and we feel great that this is great for multiverses overall. We'll see. Um, I'm going to see if I can get, uh, at some point, my buddy Tom to make a comment on this, because he is has been fairly ingrained in the community, and, and he's, you know, I would dare I say an expert at the game, and I would love to get his opinion on it, but um, so keep an eye out for that on I Can't Shut Up Unless You Tell Me To. That's probably where that podcast is probably going to touch on that a little bit, but uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very much for listening. I appreciate you, your time, and your listenership, and I shouldn't actually be doing this outro bullshit, because I have a pre-recorded Evan to do it for me. Yay! Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to you want to talk to me outside of this video, outside of live streams, or just be a, join the community and be a part of it, you can do so at hibmedia.gg slash discord. Discord link's there, we'd love to have you, and given the financial situation of the economy right now, I know this is a tall ass, but if you have the scratch to, to spare, please consider donating and becoming a supporter at himedia.gg slash tip. 
all of our perks are serviced through our Discord channel, including early access videos, exclusive videos, and more. Your generosity is a blessing, and a dollar a month is a boot to my bank account. Thank you so very much for watching. I appreciate you, and have a great day.